Hello everyone, I'm Coyote Jack and this is a serious one. From my perspective, I don't know which is yours, but let's see what what we have in hands here because well this is a Spanish speaking website and they are reporting about how fuck up the left is. <laughs> so let's start with the US because well we have the section first. NBC reports that left art groups tries to take power of, of the armed forces to the president of the US in case Donald Trump is being elected. So they want to take away the power the president has of the, the armed forces. So they want to create the CIA and FBI. Agents is the only... The, the actual mafia, the uh, the ones who be who did all, all of this damage to the world, they want to give independence of the armed forces to be another NATO inside their own fucking country, only because of Donald Trump. That's fucking insanity. So the editor in chief, the uh, Federalista Molly Him Howe, brought. Sorry, the editor in chief of the Federation. Federation. Oh man, th what nonsense is this? <laughs> Molly Hemingway wrote the embassy informs that the left is trying to plot ways to so the military is not under the civil control. Holy shit! Oh man, and we have this. But first, sorry. Uh, so you, the progressive media, NBC informed the possibility of the left exploding to to disvincle the, the force armed forces of civil control. So it's supposedly an intent of usurpations of power, considered dangerous and inconstitutional. Uh, it presents as a strategy to, well, take down Trump in case he's being elected as the next presidential elections in the U.S. So, you have this. I'm just going to read you uh, now part of the NBC. Because what I read is just straight nonsense. But, well, I'm just going to read this. According to the report, Donald Trump, it's have generated <laughs> fear among <laughs> fear among those to comprehend the functioning in the internal functioning of the Pentagon. Yeah, at this point everyone knows. And even the normies are figuring out that yeah all of this fucking nonsense. Who alleged Lee says the Republicans will convert the, arm, the army of the United States in a no partidary institution and an instrument for their own political agenda. Now, what I read here is just insane levels of projection. It's all projection. When someone is so fucking secure, and they want to project all of what they are actually plotting. They they talk like this. Oh, look, if we don't do something, he's going to do this and this and this. And when contrary to the evidence of the other side. Yeah, no. No, fuck, fuck you. So look. Look at it. Fears grow that Trump will use the military dictatorial ways if he returns to the White House. A month has been mentioned from Trump Defense Secretary of Christopher Miller, who served temporarily during his administration, Michael Flink and Mike Pompeo. And then you have this. By all these leftars, by Peter Nicholas, Catherine Doyle, Megan Lewowitz, and Courtney Cook. What some that looks I when I read I heard names just like the fucking tiny hats, seriously. Ah, uh, Washington. 
Donald Trump is speaking fears among those who understand the inner workings of the Pentagon that he will convert the non-partisan U.S. military into the muscular arm of his political agenda. Oh, fucking nonsense. Oh, <laughs> As he made comments about dictatorship and the ballistic checks and balances that underpin the nation to century old democracy, Oh man, this is on insane levels of projection. Fuck it. The fucking left. I need to remind people from the World War II Germany. They were all leftists. The left. The most bloodiest history that you could ha have ever seen through se all, all of these centuries it started with the left. Leftism. Yeah, I don't like the right to for my whole opinions for how they behave like a track coach. Just I already stated that. But who is the most violent here? To left. Oh, but the right, yeah, yeah, I know that some of the right they are. But if you hear them closely, you could understand that they are just straight neocons. So they are rhinos. They pretend. Just look at fucking Mike Pence and how his political career is just finished. <sighs> A circle of appointees independent of Trump's political operations, steering him away from ideas that would have pushed the limits of presidential power in his last term. According to the books, they have read in a testimony given to Congress. Most were gone by the end. In a new term, many former officials worried that Trump would instead soon run himself with loyalism while to say no. Oh man, so look at this, they want to be, just like the left always has been, they want to be divisive. And I blame the fucking right for not actually gatekeep them, because it's true that they have a very tragic mentality. Oh, we have to be better than, than them. No. If they are just spiteful towards you, be spiteful towards them. Treat people uh, how they treat you. And honestly, yeah, they treat the left treated all over to this when they got the power trip. People so bad that now it's the fucking turn and they are just doing these levels of projection. The left always does that. That's why I hate more the left than I, I hate them more. And, and this, this is why, this is one of the reasons. And now reading you this with the silent voice. Now bracing for Trump's potential return, a loose net, net, network of public interest groups and lawmakers is quality the beast in plans to try to foil and any of his presidential power, which could include pressuring the military to cater to his political needs. Well, the army, it's always like this, has always been like this, that they need to hear what the president says. I need to remind people that Obama, how, and, and sadly, that's my biggest complaint with Barack Obama, how a lot of people over the entire world, only because he was black and probably gay, or maybe he's gay because, well, big mice on, on his ass, that, yeah, he's a fucking genocider. He's the most evil, evil president that... Oh, man. He was just impaired with Kissinger. I think he was ju he's just an indoctrinator of Henry Kissinger at this point. All the wars, all the interventions, all the Minecrafting. Especially, I remember that in, uh, he... How... Stop... The lesion there is these agencies, especially the FTF, sending guns to the cartels, all the fucking insanity that all that produced uh, uh, almost a decade ago, well, more than a decade at this point. And then you have the Middle East, all of these attacks, and then all of the leftism of the welfare. He's a psychopath, a narcissistic psychopath. That's the reality. You could uh, say 
otherwise but well the reality is already there and when the way how he speaks is just like the same as this fucking idiot who wrote this article but let's continue <sighs> those taking part part in the effort told NBC News they are studying Trump's past actions and 2024 policy positions so that they will that they will be ready if he wins in November. That involves preparing for take legal actions and send letters to Trump's appointees spelling out consequences they face if they undermine constitutional norms. Hey, Orange Man! This paragraph is right right now telling you, right fucking now, this paragraph, it's telling you that you need to drain the swamp. Drain it completely. No, no leftovers. All of that. Push them. Push them hard. And once and for all. And you are, and I am going to say that you will be on history. I'm not going to say Red Hills history. I'm just going to say fucking history because right now the whole world knows, knows how to fucking swamp. The U.S. government is right now, especially when it comes to the far left. You draining this swamp? Oh man! Yeah, everyone will accomplish you. All countries want you to fucking drain that piece of shit that is just ruining the entire world. So let's continue. And you have this in quotes. We already started to put together a team to think through the most damaging types of ruins that the Trump might do so that we are ready to bring lawsuits if we have to. Said Mary McCord, Executive Director of the Institution of Our Constitutional Advocacy and Protection of Georgetown Law. Ah, uh, so you have a national insurrection being plotted so shamelessly right here. Oh. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> this is just fucking nonsense. So yeah, yeah, this is just fucking nonsense. The silence of Lincoln. And, uh, look at how they appeal to emotion. I just, I just are going to stop here. This is just fucking cancer. Oh man. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. So look, even uh, from this actual website from Inform uh, Orwell. Uh, you, they, they're actually pointed out that yeah, they are just plotting to fucking do that to the next U.S. president in case it's, it's Trump, and they want to take down Trump. They want to Minecraft him. That's a, a reality. <sighs> and look, <laughs> uh, he, you have a, here the tweet. Because then themselves they are telling you that, yeah, they are pieces of shit. Also, that's all pretty much I needed to say here. Yeah, it's it's a reality. I know Orange Man is a little like a fucking trap card when it comes to video games. But, well, we can fight that back. What we can't fight right now is the fucking left. How they, now since they are in a power trip. Uh, how they are pushed the whole walk agenda. And the Orange Trump pronouncing himself that, yeah, everything walk turns into shit. That's it. That's all I needed to say here. I hope everyone who watched this video, you have a pretty good day.